Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son, Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend, Ron Weasley, and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Borough, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before traveling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister Ginny and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you love that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Harry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. OK, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on! Stop! 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 open chest with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Alahamora! <laughs> to climb over low walls, I just have to walk uh, into them. Uh, I can uh, use this gargoyle to act as a balloon spell. This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. 
When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. I bet I can pass a pendo on that luggage to push it to that lane. Pendo! <sighs> Hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! Ala Amora! A chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some of your stamina. They also taste delicious. Alahamora! Alahamora can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. spot right there Flipendo! thanks Harry much appreciated oh no come back great my dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Not only does Lumos cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. Lumos! to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beam all the ledges, Harry! Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here! Cast for a pen to push the block towards me. And then, Use it to jump to this ledge. This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 new bronze cards, you are given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far.
rain has stopped. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on! We'd better get up to the school! lost. is just over here to the right, remember? The dormitory is up here, Harry. Finally, there's the portrait of the fat lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please. We're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bot's Every Flavour Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It'll be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well late and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Good morning, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defence Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to come back later. Hello, Harry. Flip the window! Flip the window! Cheers! I wonder when they're going to do the first house point tally. <laughs> 